everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you can get a full set of heavy combat armor at level 1. In this video I highlight what I deem is essential for getting the armor. I want you in your playthrough to treat it just like any other. The first thing you need to do upon exiting Vault 111 is to, like most playthroughs, scrap everything in Sanctuary Hills. The more stuff you have, the better you're gonna be. I'm gonna highlight what I deem is super important. The first thing I want you to grab is in the cellar behind this blue house. As most of you are aware, there are three gold bars down here. These gold bars, they fetch a pretty penny. Go ahead and collect everything else that's in the vault. Uh, I only had a body pin. Everything else, it'll come in handy down the road. The other thing of importance, it can spawn in any of the locked suitcases or saves in the area. If you don't have a high enough lock picking, all you have to do is scrap it and head to the workbench and whatever was inside, you can take it out there. Here's a good example. Here I have a locked suitcase. I forgot to activate the workshop. In this example, inside the suitcase was a dress that gives me two charisma. Throughout this guide, I'm going to collect all the apparel items and all of the consumables that increase my charisma. The higher the charisma, the better off you're going to be because one of the armor pieces we actually have to buy, I'm going to get into that later. Try to have at least 12 charisma. I broke it down, I had 5 starting charisma, wearing a dress, wearing a pair of glasses, wearing a hat, and different consumables like alcohol found in the wasteland. You should have about, if not more, than 12 charisma. Next we need to head to the Red Rocket, it's just down the street. Like always, loot the place, grabbing anything of interest. If you get lucky, this will help you tremendously down the line. In that toolbox, a stealth boy can spawn. We didn't get it this time. Make sure to check as that will help you a lot. Grab everything of importance. What we need is actually Behind the red rocket truck stop in this cave inside the cave there is a fusion core go ahead and grab that chances are you're not going to use it rather what we need it for is we're going to sell it for caps so just right here go ahead and grab it feel free to root to loot the rest of the feel free to loot the rest of the den for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna grab it and run. Next, we need to head to the Museum of Freedom. I would recommend following the quest line. To keep the video short, I'm just gonna jump to the power armor. If you want to follow what I'm doing, head to the top of the church, and up here you can just jump across. Just makes things 10 times faster. 
I would save before doing so, just in case you fall. Just like that. Go ahead and grab everything that's up here. Of course, we came here to get both the power armor and the minigun. You should already have a fusion core from what was under the red rocket, but before this video ends, we're gonna grab at least three more of them. Grab the minigun, grab all the junk that's up here. Just jump down. Now, make your way north to the robotics disposal ground. It's right here on the map. Here is Vault 111. It's just north of Concord. Right around here. First thing you want to grab is a mini nuke. The mini nuke is hidden here in the tires. You might have to hit it or shoot it a few times as it is glitched. There you go. I forgot to mention do not use the minigun ammunition. We need to sell it. Come down here to the chest. Another fusion core. Take what's inside. And behind it, there is a fat man. Go ahead and grab that. Now, what we need to do is explode the sentry bot for an additional two fusion cores. So, loot everything that's inside this room. On the terminal, there will be a holotape that allows you to control the sentry bot. So just enable it. Activate sentry bot. What you want to do is self destruct. You can't do that right away. It doesn't work. You gotta wait for the robot to move around. A bunch of mole rats are gonna pop up from under the ground. The sentry bot will help you fight it. I would recommend doing so. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna self destruct and move on. All right. You should self destruct any minute now. He counts down. Make sure to run away as if you're too close, it'll kill you. The explosion will. There we go. going to take care of some more rats. Go ahead and loot the two fusion cores. Now what you want to do is right down the street there's a crashed helicopter. Here you can find another set of power on it. Just go ahead. Just take the pieces off of it as we are going to sell it. Lastly you want to head to this outpost, it's east of the disposal grounds. It's right here on the map.
I got into a fist fight with Boomer. You want to take the fat man and you want to take power armor. You can leave everything else. There should be another mini nuke here. Here it is. Feel free to grab the comic book. You do 5% more damage at night. If I were you, I would take out... I would... I would take out the raiders and claim that settlement. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna run. I would, to make things easier, I'm gonna head back to Sanctuary Hills and repair my power armor before we fight the gunners. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna scrap this house. It should give, it should give me enough steel Exit your power armor. Go ahead and repair it. So we have one helmet. Repair. We already have an arm that's full. I'm gonna repair... I'm gonna repair everything. Just because you never know when we're gonna need it. I'm even going to repair the raider stuff. Exit out of there. Put on what's missing. Left arm, we need a right leg. I guess the right leg is still broken. Oh. make another save this is where things get tricky so if you're playing on normal difficulty or anything lower than that for the time being up that to at least hard if you're on survival you have nothing to worry about you want to make your way east just follow the roads, you shouldn't run into anything. Make your way to a place called Hub City Auto Wreckers. The more aid you have, the better you're gonna be. We have too many nukes, so we don't have to worry about combat. Make a save before you attempt anything. If you're on survival, before attempting this, have a look in the area for a bed. I wanted to 
let you in on a secret before we attempt this. This vehicle, I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. This vehicle, it's right here on the map. You might have seen a video by me which showcases have to get a full set of T60 power armor at level one. That guide involves a member of the Adam, Ca Adam Cats. His name is Duke. He can be found just outside of Vault 111. If he doesn't spawn there for you, right here, it's random chance, he could also spawn here. So you have yet another chance to get that armor. I'll have a link to that video. I explain that in greater detail. I'll have a link to it in the top right. Now with all that out of the way, head back down to this area. This is where I'm gonna hook up a controller. I'm not that good at keyboard and mouse. You need to be quick, which I am not. The controller is connected. I'm gonna mention this one more time. Make sure you're on hard or something worse. My controller disconnected. First thing you wanna do is sneak. Ooh. Oops. What's wrong with my controller? Editor's note, you want to wait till it's night. It makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna look for like a mattress. Here we go. Here's a chair. I believe there's a mattress on the second floor. So if you're on survival and you need a place to sleep, There's, there's not a bed, but there's a Brahmin. Huh. I guess there's no bed in here. There has to be like a mattress or something in the area. After all, it's just a bunch of ruined houses. Eh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna sit down here and wait till nighttime. Especially on survival. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Pop back in the power armor. Without getting spotted, make your way back to that truck. I'm gonna save right here. He's looking this way, but he doesn't see me. Make your way to that corner, like always. I guess they heard that. Just wait until you're hidden again. All right. Have a peek around the corner, make sure that Assaultron is not standing there. Make sure you have full health, make sure you have maximum AP. I'm gonna pop a stim pack. Alright, everything is hidden. Run, jump, Contact. jump, get up here. You wanna make a beeline for that terminal. And just spam whatever button it is to use it. The first thing you wanna do is lower the crane.
you want to turn off the turrets. And you want to deactivate the spotlights. The next thing you want to do, as soon as you exit the terminal, open up the pit boy use a stim pack. To the left of you, there's a helmet. Grab it and book it out of here. Use a stim pack. Grab the helmet. And book it out of here. I like to come behind this tree. For whatever reason, you can hide behind it. Right here. And eventually they'll lose interest. Who is that? For whatever reason, there's just a Brahmin named Idiot. And they're using mini nukes and fat mans to destroy it. What the? I've never had that happen before. It must be like a random encounter. Anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna save. What a weird time. The gunners are fighting the caravans. This actually might be beneficial to us. Oh my god. You just want to run. All the way down here. I've never had this happen before. So. I doubt this is going to happen in your game. So you can just follow what I do. Actually the gunners are here. We might not be able to do it that way. God damn it. What I like to do is... I wanna... Jump up here. They're just fighting the Brahmin. That's the Sultron. Luckily for me, everybody is distracted. You want to sneak around here. In most playthroughs, you just want to wait and go when the coast is clear. So just jump up here. Up here. And you want to make your way up here. As there's a named gunner. Some, And she has almost a full set of heavy combat armor. It takes too many nukes to kill her on hard. It's insane. So just... Heal up. I think that's her. It is. Use both mini nukes. There we go. That took almost all my health. Heal up. Thankfully, we're just in hard, so we heal up right away. I'm gonna take as much aid as I can just to get out of here. And a new inspector. She, she is going to have full four out of five pieces of heavy combat armor. Notice how the right arm is missing? That should happen. If you visit her on normal or anything lower, only three out of the four pieces will spawn. This way, you can get every piece, so. Take what you want. Take the fat man because you can sell it. What am I going to drop? Yeah, that's a lot of money. I'll just pop one of these. And I'll drop. I don't know what I'm going to drop.
most times she is going to spawn behind that green box. I just got lucky with the Brahmin. After you kill her, you take the sniper, you can loot what's in here. I have to leave it because I'm already over encumbered. Just jump off the bridge. Wait for things to settle down and go on with your day. Now, I'm going to do that again in survival to show that it's possible. After I do that, I'll show you where to get the right arm. And that's where the money comes in. I forgot to mention, there are no variants to the combat armor helmet. So, for example, there is no such thing as a heavy combat armor helmet. You can modify it at a workbench, but that's it. Oh, that wasn't even the right person. There we go, we killed her. As you can see, even on survival, she has four out of the five heavy combat armor pieces. She has two mini nukes, another fat man, Just for, just for fun, I, I, I gotta prove that I'm on survival. I'm still on survival. Just for fun, seeing that I'm gonna go back to the um, the character that was on hard just to finish this. I'm just gonna kill everybody, because that's fun. Fuck you. Seriously, I'm dehydrated. I have a level up. Lone Wanderer account. Hit him in the head. Hit him directly in the head. Oh, awesome. What the hell is this guy doing? I have a fat man. I fell down the cliff. Brahmin is still here. Yeah, doesn't matter. I did it on survival. It just takes... You just gotta keep trying until you get it. 
I got unlucky as a bunch of caravan raiders came at this moment. I'm gonna make a pit stop at Diamond City to see if there's anything I could buy to increase my charisma. The last part, you gotta buy the last piece. You wanna find a pair of glasses that increases your charisma by one, a, a hat that increases your charisma by one, a dress increases your charisma by two, uh, and then Have you been there's a before? bunch of aid items such as alcohol that increases your charisma. Just okay. take as much of that as you I can. Just need to oh! I need that wig. She didn't see it. I wonder if she has anything upstairs. Uh, finding apparel that grants charisma is just luck. You have no idea if it's gonna be in any of those. Well, oh. but it's relatively easy to find. By the time you get to Diamond City and or the next place we're going, you should already have a lot. It's one of the easiest things to increase in the game. Should not have to worry one bit. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a simp. Don't oh my god. Don't shoot for God's sakes, we're family. You're both. Kyle, no. Okay. Hey, I'm going to take his stuff there just to no sell it. Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. <laughs> At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. You're welcome, good sir. But I need your the video here. was getting way too long. Before editing anything, it was over two hours. It made more sense to me to cut a huge section of the video and just tell you what to do so after all that you want to make your way to vault 81 it's on the outside of diamond city the merchant there has unique legendary combat armor pieces and it's guaranteed that she will sell you a heavy right arm with 12 charisma which is easily doable at this level you should get it for about 10,000 caps now. At first, that might seem like a lot, but considering you're getting the one of the best armors in the game this early on, it's a really, really good deal. The, well, for whatever reason, the, right, uh, the heavy right arm is one of the hardest things to get in the game. I have read reports of like people who are level 40 and they just can't get it to drop. This way, it's guaranteed at level 1, uh, heavy combat armor pieces don't spawn on enemies and there are no named NPCs who have it uh, I hope this video was informative uh, If it was please like it um, If you want to see more follow for guide videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, Thank you and goodbye